All right, will do. Uh, do you recommend starting out with a duplex and like running out one side and then living in the other, or do no. you recommend starting up in an apartment and then like saving up your money until you have enough like cash uh, to like in case yeah. of emergencies? I can tell you that. exactly what I'm what I'm doing currently, right? That's the best the best thing to give you, right? Mm -hmm. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move to Tampa, Florida. When I move there, I'll get my own apartment, right? I'll save up for that 20% down payment to buy my first property. It's going to be a single family home. Me and my girlfriend are going to move there. Well, we will be married then. But the answer is once that's paid off, I'll move on to rental properties. The problem is, for example, when you get into the game of, okay, I'm going to buy this duplex. The bank is going to grant you a ton of money because they want you, they want to lend you a ton of money, right? So once you have the ton of money, they have you hooked, right? Now you have this duplex. Everything's great. You have your side, the other side, that person's paying the rent, whatever. But let's say again, a pandemic happens like it did before, and now that person's not paying your rent, and your income is not enough to actually pay the mortgage. What do you do then? You see, mm, that's yep, why. Yeah. That's why the first step is like that's like that's like a it's a risky way to do things. I just wanna I just want you to basically okay, how do I secure myself first? You know, like when you're in the mm -hmm. airplane and they say, for example, put your mask on your face first before you try anything else. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's yeah. the same. It's the same idea. Buy a, first of all, you buy a single family home. If you want to like start off with a condo, that's fine. But just make sure that that condo allows you to actually go ahead and rent it out once you're done with it, because most of them, some of them actually don't allow that. So make sure you actually verify that. But usually you buy your first single family home by that time. Remember, right. In four years, you, do you have a girlfriend now? Uh, no. Yeah. Well, in four years, you'll probably have a girlfriend. Be looking to maybe get married or whatever. Right. So you have two people two incomes coming in, right? And by that time, mm -hmm. when you buy a single family home, you can pay that off in like maybe three to five to seven years, depending on how much you actually pay for it. And then you focus on, let me buy this rental property, put down 20%. Once that's done being paid off, I buy the next one and the next one. Meaning every time you're done with one, all that cash flow is yours. If there's no tenant there, nothing to worry about because you don't have a large mortgage on your head. Does that make sense? That, that makes perfect sense. Yeah. Or, yeah. or... We can go ahead and say, okay, let me just buy this duplex. Oh, shit, they can't pay. They're not going to pay my rent. Oh, my gosh, I have another rental property. They're not paying either. And then you have a massive headache. That, that's not what I want yeah. for you.